Hello fellow fans, fans of coffee everywhere and coffee people on the internet. My name is Haley. I am your local resident neighborhood Q grader coming at you live from our store in Playground in San Francisco, California, here with another brew guide recipe for the wonderful Tim Wendelbo Finca Timana Variedad Colombia. Um, a washed Colombia from Huila, Colombia, just really, really delicious. Before I get into why it's so cool, why don't we get into the recipe and how I'm brewing it? I am brewing at 23 grams in to 350 grams out. Uh, I've got a six on OGen 2 grind setting, five on OGen, which is about a five on OGen 1, and a seven on O plus SSP. Uh, medium to medium course, so like towards the coarser end uh, of your grind settings on Opus. Um, I'm at brewing at 205 degrees, and I am going to add some optional swirls for a little bit of optional agitation in here. I know in my brew guide that will be linked in the description of this video, I said to do five gentle swirls right after the bloom, and then I'll do five gentle swirls after the last uh, pour as well. In this video, I didn't do five gentle swirls uh, after the bloom, but add those swirls in should you feel like you're not getting enough out of your uh, out of your brew with just the five swirls at the end is kind of the intent here. Anyway, moving on. I bloomed at 46 grams, so about double the amount of water as coffee I used, and then I broke bloom at 30 seconds, so on the sooner end of my typical 30 to 40 second range. Um, and then of course I'm doing a four stage pour, so I'm going from 46 to 150, uh, then 250, then 350. And then I'm always gonna do those five gentle swirls after 350 with this coffee, but I'm finding depending on the roast state, I'm also adding those five swirls right after the bloom. Um, so I'm gonna go for my last pour here. And remember when you're doing those five gentle swirls after the last pour, you wanna make sure that you're not doing the swirls when there's a ton of water in the slurry or else you'll risk uh, what I call cowboy coffee, which is getting a bunch of coffee grounds over the sides and into your final product. So it's, it's a little crunchy and crunchy is kind of weird in this context, in my opinion. Um, anyway, this coffee is really delicious. It's a really stellar washed uh, Colombia coffee, like I said, from Huila, specifically El Patal. Thank you so much to the crew over with uh, Tim Wendell Bow for sharing this coffee with us as a fellow Drops exclusive. In the cup, we're getting such a complex, such a complex flavor profile with firm structure, um, just super delicious elderflower herbals um, underneath like lots of red fruit and a little bit of a little bit of like molasses, some green apple acidity, um, hibiscus florals are in there too with maybe a little bit of stone fruit like apricot, just a lot of crazy stuff. Um, which brings me to my next subject, extracting as espresso. I think it would be super stellar as espresso, probably will bring out a lot of that red fruit in like a punchiness. I suggest trying a one to two ratio as per a lot of standards from Tim Wendelbo. Um, so I would probably start with like 20 grams in, 40 grams out, maybe between 28 and 32 seconds, uh, 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Try some lower bar extraction if you can, like seven or eight bars for a longer extraction. Uh, but if you're extracting at nine bars, maybe make it a little bit quicker. Experiment, see what's going on your water, specific water in your area, your altitude, the atmospheric conditions in your area will all affect what's going on in your extraction and like the time of extraction too. It's not, it's, uh, it's, it's really up to experimentation, but definitely I suggest starting with that ratio and just seeing where you're at. If it's finishing uh, too sour, I would definitely tighten the grind or make finer the grind so you're pulling a little bit longer. If it's too, bitter or too chalky at the end, maybe kind of drying. I'd go the opposite direction, loosen it as we say, or coarsen your grind to make it a quicker pull. As always, thank you so much for being here for this brew guide video. And as always, it is easy to order from Fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back with the number of bags you want, one, two, however many. 
Um, and if you don't want coffee this week, don't text us back. We won't charge you or send coffee. Um, thank you so much for being here. I am and will continue to be Haley, um, here to brew coffee on the internet and provide some pointers. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to just drop a line, let us know what's going on in the comment section. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next week. Have a good one, y'all.